Welcome back. Um, over the month of May, sorry, over the month of May, I threw at you a bunch of different techniques, pick style, finger style, chromatic exercises, to help you strengthen and develop coordination between your left and right hand, but I didn't properly explain, you know, whenever I said start slow and build up the tempo of what you're doing, I haven't explained to you the proper way to do it. So we're going to start doing that now. Every Friday, today being Friday, June 1st, we're going to go through and just some music theory techniques. And for right now, we're, they're not techniques, but music theory. Right now, we're going to start off with counting and time signatures. Now, I'm sure that there's a fair amount of you who are adept to music theory, but there's probably a lot of you who don't understand music theory and how counting and time signatures and all that work. So I'm going to explain it the best I can to all different levels. Okay, so we're going to start off with simple meters, meters that um, anyone can really count. Now, and to be more exact, this very first, we're going to start off with simple quadruple meters. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, this is technically copyright infringement. I'm not asking permission to use this, but this, I'm about to show you a bit from the Bass Builder's Dictionary of Bass Grooves, a collection of grooves and styles for bass guitar by Sean Malone. It's published by Hal Leonard. And right here we have Southern Rock Groove. Look, sorry, that. Look right here. I know it's reading, you're looking at it in sort of a mirror form, but this reads 4 4. It's a 4 over 4. Or time signatures read like fractions. And whether it be 4 4, like this example, 2 4, 3 4, um, 6 16. What a time signature is, is quite simple. Well, if you look at it from the fraction sense, the numerator, the top number of the, of the time signature, it indicates how many beats there are in a bar. So if you look at this example again, the one that's in 4-4, four, four, for every bar of music that's played, there are four beats. So you count one, two, three, four, and then start over again. The lower number, the uh, denominator, is the note value that represents one beat. So when you look at a meter of four, four, you have four beats per measure, and the quarter note, the quarter note is the value of the beat. And the reason why the quarter note is represented by four when you take the whole note and the whole note is this circle, this zero. In music notation, that's what a whole note looks like. A quarter note in music notation looks like this. This one right here that's below my thumb. Four quarter notes, four things that look like that equals one circle in music notation. So four four is four quarter notes, four, four four is four beats per measure and the quarter note is the beat emphasized. Now, simple subdivision, and what I mean by subdivision is that with the whole note being four beats, so in a four four measure, the whole note would take up one full measure. Subdivisions of that whole note are counting it out in half notes. Half notes are where the the whole note is, divide, is split in half, basically. So you would have... That's what a half note looks like. I don't know how easily you can tell, but it looks like the quarter note, except it's not a co full colored in circle attached to the stem. So half notes represent two beats. So... If, so um, Whole note is four beats, half note is two beats in a 4-4 four, four measure, and quarter note is one beat to the four beats in the measure. Now, if you subdivide even further than that, we're going to stop at eighth notes. And basically, what an eighth note is, 
is you take a quarter note and cut that in half. So, oh, we're going to go to a metronome so that I can show you what I mean by counting out your progress using whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, and eighth notes. Okay, we're going to start on a very on a slow metronome marking, 60 beats per minute. If you practice with a metronome, the click that you hear, that's the beat. So if you're looking at a piece of music per measure and it's in 4-4 time, the four beats to the measure measure out to this tempo. So if you were counting out in whole notes, it'd be 1, 2, Three. I start, you know, the first beat is the note you play, and then hold that for four beats, and then play a whole note again. That's how whole notes would work. If you're going from half notes, it go like this. One, three, one, three, one, three. The reason why I said one and three is that I'm showing you how the half notes subdivide into a four-four measure. So half notes would sound on beats one and three of the measure. With quarter notes, it'd be like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And with eighth notes, you take you cut the quarter notes in half. So, or half note, you cut the whole note in half. Quarter note, you cut the half note in half. Eighth note, you cut the quarter note in half. So, if you were counting out eighth notes in a four-four measure, it sounds something like this. If you were counting out loud, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and all those ways that I counted out a 4-4 four, four meter, that's how you would do it if you were looking at whole notes per measure, half notes per measure, quarter notes per measure, and eighth notes per measure. And the very next video, I'm going to go back and go through all the techniques that I showed you and showed you how you can measure your, prog your progress working in those chromatic exercise scales, these string, string jumping scales, and measuring out uh, using four, three, and two finger techniques, as well as picking. And I'll use, ex when it comes to measuring out, you know, your progress using things like the techniques, hammering out a steady stream of eighth notes, I'll... I'll start showing you, you know, examples from popular music and how it all relates together.